Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about all the bags here. I'm, I'm literally moving out. I literally have moved out. Finishing moving stuff over. I asked you guys for some questions about quetiapine and I said I would answer in a video. So let me just go on to my screenshot. Want to, to be okay. Hi, I've been put on 700 milligrams from 350. Does it make your mind feel foggy? I recently just had my dose changed from 150 at night and 25 in the morning to 50 in the morning and 200 at night. And what's not a big jump? I think any jump with quetiapine, it does make. I think it makes everyone feel foggy. I remember when I first started taking it, I literally couldn't remember anything. My mind just wasn't at home. It was like nah, bro. <laughs> So I think quetiapine as a whole does make people more foggy, drowsy, so I agree. Quetiapine does have a lot of side effects and I will record a clip of me going through them all later on and I'll put that for you now. So yeah, they're the side effects of quetiapine. Obviously not everyone experiences all of them but they are written there for a reason. Right, this is the one that I have been thinking about since I saw it. Unrelated but please do a video on dissociative and pinata and see pinata drama. They have both damaged the mental health community and need calling out for their lives. So the liars they are. I actually took part in a video to Dissociated because they are going through a really hard time right now. They're not going to be commenting on the situation as I'm not involved. I'm not even part of the same community. They have dissociative identity disorder. I do not. And it's their life. You know, it's not my place or anyone else's place to go and comment on this. And I did want to answer this video. This I've seen, I have seen the drama and obviously I don't agree with that. But I'm not going to make some video attacking something they didn't know about. The social did is someone who I have th that channel I have followed since it began. I'm literally the admin in the Mental Health YouTuber Army group on Facebook, which is where we all share our videos with each other. And that is where I first, at the time, came into contact with Chloe. But now who is now in supported the social did since the beginning, and I will continue. To do so. Does it make you put on weight? Does it sedate you? If I take it at the right time, it knocks me out for a century. It definitely has made me put on weight, but not because the quetiapine is made. The quetiapine makes me hungry, and um, because I have an eating disorder, I'm diagnosed with eating disorder, otherwise, binge eat. <laughs> and I get feeling well, binge, 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 then I won't eat, then I'll binge again. And I'm currently using an app to actually try and manage food and weight and everything, so I feel more in control with it without falling too deep into my eating disorder. It's relevant, but. Yes, it's a simple answer. Has it made you gain has it made you gain weight is literally the biggest question. Does your quite does your quite affect your heart issue as it can do that? I had issues with my heart long before I started any antipsychotic. It definitely hasn't helped, but it is also needed for me to stay in the community and do my best at staying well. How's your mental health been through the quarantine? In the first week I was hospitalised, now I've got a new flat um, and I'm living with my girlfriend. Lots is, a lot has happened. I don't like, it has made me dissociate a lot more and be more triggered while I've been dealing with the lockdown. And obviously I completely agree with them and understand it, but I also know that being isolated for long periods of time is dangerous. Especially to people with mental health issues. But I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Did you notice any side effects when you first started taking it? Um, the first side effect I noticed was the weight gain. The second one I noticed was... So, the side effects that I noticed when I first started taking quetiapine was weight gain, sleepiness, and paranoia. Um, the first time I started taking taking quetiapine my paranoia went I don't even know how high it didn't last that was only a very temporary thing while I got used to the dosage I presume um all in all I don't actually have many side effects from it the only side effect that really bothers me that I notice is the weight gain and the hunger that's that's what I noticed day in day out with it quetiapine is a medication that I was really unsure about going on when I first got offered it and the only reason I went on it was I was on a section two I was in hospital and I had just tried to kill myself and the duty doctor said we're going to prescribe you quetiapine and obviously because I was on section I couldn't really say no. I'd already been I am. The circumstances surrounding me starting quetiapine was terrifying but in the long term it has it has really helped. It's, a, it's made me a lot less impulsive, it's made me go outside without getting all paranoid, it stopped me hallucinating as much as I was. Obviously occasionally I still do experience some tactile hallucinations, um, but that's about that really. There's not that much to what to it, but when it comes to quetiapine, and the dose I'm on now I'm happy with, I'm satisfied with, and I think it is probably as high as I can go on it. 
just because I have, I, I know people who've been on high doses and they can hardly function them. I am really struggling to wake up after my, my night's meds. Like in the morning I'm still experiencing the side effects of it. So I, like today I didn't get out of bed until someone rang the doorbell. It literally jump scared me away. I didn't know who was in my dream for it was in real life and the doorbells went again. I was like, oh, that's my one complaint about it at the moment. It, it's making me really sleepy. I'm hoping that side effect goes away. I mean, if you do have any like advice about quick therapy and or any experiences you want to share with me, leave them in the comments below because it is something that I am I'm still learning a lot about. Um, I got prescribed mine because of impulsivity, paranoia, and hallucinations. And the lower dose in the morning is for my anxiety. And if I knew where to pay for it was, I would show you. But because I'm moving, I don't actually know where my paperwork is. But that does why you find it. I'll post it on my Instagram story. So make sure you go check out my Instagram. All, all my social medias are in the description down below. Facebook one, I actually don't use very much. I don't check Facebook. I don't have Facebook on my phone. But I do have a Facebook page. You can message me on there. Just be prepared. It may take me a while to answer. If you message me on Twitter or Instagram, Instagram I'll see straight away. Twitter, tweet to me the if you have me. Otherwise, I won't see it. Because on Twitter, I have got 15,000 followers. And that's quite a lot to maintain. This channel is growing ridiculously, which... <laughs> It's insane. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Peace.